Welcome to this Tiger Tank Secondary School Football League, League feature between Bishops and Mason Hall Secondary. Bishops, the home team, wearing their maroon and white colors. As we see the team shaking hands, Mason Hall, the visitors, resplendent in their all red. And it should be an interesting contest here today. We're expecting a good game from both of these teams here. Uh, just to give you the lineups. Bishops, number one, Kevin Cordner. Number 17, Justin Antwine. Number nine, Siddiqui Balfour. Number 15, Kieron Wright. Number six, Harold Sedeno. Number 11, Gion Barney Burke. Number 12, Levi Bob. Number three, Tashawn Kerr. Number 10, Ronaldo Latchman. Number 16, Jelani Johnson. And number 10, Johan Elliott. And as for the Mason Hall, 11, Duvon Collette is number 11 in goal. Number 21 is Daryl McCletchy. Number 17, Joshua Stewart. Number 12, Renzel Sebro. Number 20, that's Ronnie Reed. Number 10 is Denton Allen. Number 8 is Yashua Mohammed. Number 14 is Jacoby Julian. Number 18, Sean Baker. And number 6, Keyshawn Stapleton, while number 13 is Darren Jerome. Darren Jerome. And it would seem that the visitors have won the, the toss and have elected to go from right to left. Number 10, Denton Allen will get things started with the kickoff. Well, that actually should be left to right on our screen. My apologies. It's a ball that's immediately played into midfield. Played back to the heart of the defense. All defenders getting a, a first touch of the ball. And immediately under pressure here is that number 18, Sean Baker. And Bishops maintain possession here in the heart of their defense. That's a good ball coming out into the midfield area here. Under pressure there, the number 11, that's Giovanni Burke. Passes it out to the right-hand side. And goes all the way back to Kevin Corden in goal. Kieran Wright picking up the pieces on that right flank there. And they're in the midfield again. Solid defense there by Levi Bob. And number six, Harold Sedeno trying to play it off to the right there for Giovanni Burke to get up into that midfield area. And they have the advantage here. The number eight is running down the wing there. The cross comes in. And it's over everybody's head and it goes out for a goal kick. Good attack from Bishops, the first salvo in the game. And the home team getting the advantage there. Mason Hall will have a chance to regroup. And number eight is calling for Yashua Mohammed up the line. But they're playing it out of the back here. It's a dangerous play here. The bishops all over them, but it's good. Some, some good interchange here on the right side. But uh, bishops stick to their task here. That's the number 11, Giovanni Burke, getting involved with that one again. And Mason Hall have a good ball up on the right hand side here. That's the number 8, Yashua Mohammed. He's doing well on the flank here. And some last ditch defense there. Oh, the ball is still in play. Yashua Mohammed plays it back. Sean Baker gets that cross in. And the keeper takes it quite comfortably in the end. Good stop there by Kevin Cordner in the goal. And immediately sends that ball out to that tall number eight player. To Diki Balfour that looks like. Maybe it's a number nine. Burke loses possession in the middle here. And they're looking for Yashua Mohammed on that right flank. Sticking to his task, there was the number 19. 
as Jacoby Julian for Mason Hall. Yashwa Mohammed playing that ball up there. Baker and Mohammed combining really well on that left side here. On that right side, I should say, for Mason Hall. Tried an attack on the right hand side, and here's Balfour coming up again. Very leggy player is Balfour, but he's eventually stopped there. And Bishops have a free kick in an advantageous position here on that right side. Jelani Johnson with the cross in. It bubbles off and it hits the crossbar. And Bishops will hang around here because they had a corner. Duvon Collette was uh, a bit of no man's land there in that one. Goalkeeper there for Mason Hall. With a good free kick by Jelani Johnson, and he'll have a corner here now. Sends this one in. And that's a good punch out there by Colette, and they get another touch in. And that one goes just wide. It's a good attempt there. By that looks like Joshua Stewart here. And they'll get another corner this time. There's good defense here by Mason Hall. Bit of a last minute ditches here. Another corner coming in, well swung in again by Jason Johnson. And they have a bit of a counter-attack going on here, Mason Hall. That's the number 20 going forward for them. That's Ronnie Reed. Good defense again there by Bishops Wright at the last minute there. Yashwa Mohammed picks up the pieces. He's running down the right side again. Mason Hall follows. They're all back in the defense. Book. Marshalling the troops in the midfield. Good step over there by Burke. And he's looking for that ball through. Through the middle was Burke there, but he couldn't get that, that ball out of the middle of the park. Bishops are coming in again. Now it was a long searching ball there from the middle of the park, but unfortunately nothing doing. The Bishops boys will get a chance to get a throw in, recollect themselves here. That's a good shot there from that fellow. Number 10, Denton Alain, steaming through the middle there. Good take, you have to say, by Cordner, but uh, with the goal at his beckoning, Denton Alain shot straight at the keeper. Pushing the ball forward here. That's the number 19, Jacob e. Julian coming forward here, trying to flick it through the, legs, uh, through the left side, but didn't co quite get a hold of that one. A really good interchange here. Mason Hall, you have to say, there was a, a beautiful chance to open it there with Denton Alley in shot. But unfortunately, I was straight at the keeper. There's Yeshua again. Bishops take control of the ball once again in the midfield. They're looking for Balfour on the left. Jelani Johnson takes control of it. Here's Levi Bob in the heart of the defense. Playing really high up here, Bishops. He's playing in a very, very advanced role here. That back line is very, very high. They're on the half line. They're really sticking and keeping Mason Hall in their half. Given away. Trying to 
build up the play from the back here. Levi Bob picks up the pieces back in the defense, but he loses out now. That's the number 21 going forward again for that's Darren McCletchy, and he wins the throw in. Playing it back to Baker. And again, they win the throw in. Very, they look very potent on this right hand side, Mason Hall. McCletchy getting in on the pair of y Yashua Muhammad and Sean Baker. Unfortunately, that attack comes to no end as it Bishops get a goal kick. Playing it short, Bishops. They want to build up from the back here. A little bit of a slip there in the defense, but they get it out. Book marshalling the midfield. Gets it wide. He's looking for Balfour on that side. But I think if Balfour is, is the man to, to get you off the wings, he's collecting that ball just a little bit early, I think. Because he look, does look like a very potent attacker. Here they are trying to unloose him again. But the Mason Hall boys sticking to their, their defensive duties here. Good work in the back there from Rental Seabrook. Again, they've lost out on here. Balfour picks up the pieces on the right-hand side, but he loses out there. What can Mason Hall do on the counter? They're coming up the left-hand side. Body check there by that Bishop's defender. Mason Hall again trying to drive through the middle here. They flick it out to the right here. At Yashua Muhammad picking up the pieces. Going through the middle, Yashua gets it back. Oh, no. He just overran that one there. Maybe a little bit too hard for him to get that. The defender had it covered quite well. Harold Sedano passing it back. Might have been a dangerous move there. Mason Hall chomping at the bit there. The, the, the defender is urging his players up from Bishops. Balfour again is in the attack there. Jacoby e. Julian at the center of Mason Hall's defense doing the work there. There's a real tussle going on on the right side there. Balfour wins out. <laughs> Throw in for Bishops on the far side. <laughs> Trying to steam on the right hand side there. Balfour gets his cross in, but it's wasted. Good attack there. Again from Mesa from Bishops. Mason Hall have to be very, very careful how they, they move in his midfield here. Harold Sedino and Ronaldo Lutchman up there pushing them pretty hard. Again trying to play out of the back here. It's a real tussle in the midfield battle here. Mason Hall getting some joy down this left-hand side now. Good work there by the number two for Bishops. That's actually Levi Bob, the number 12. Go into him. Go into where he is. Drop some more. Drop some more. Mason Hall have switched to the left-hand side now. They're pushing the attack here. And now Sig Bishops is trying to go through the middle here. That's a good ball in. That's a good ball crossing in the middle there. Number 19, Ronaldo Lachman was trying to feed it further forward. Unfortunately, he couldn't get through. Bishop defense holding strong at this time. Again, that's the tall figure, Balfour. Getting another free kick here. Yeah. 
Number six for Mason Hulk. He's shown Stapleton as his hands full with ball four. Another free kick here. Swinging in, but straight to the keeper there. That was an easy take for Duvon Collette. Boots this one high up and down the right side. And all the way out. So they're actually going to retake this. So it's a. Uh, took that as a goal kick here. Again, looking for that joy of the right side. Yashua Muhammad there on your screen, directing traffic, as it will. That's where Mason Hall seems to have been having their most joy. Haven't quite gotten anything wonderful out of it yet. Trying to keep that one in there. Excellent work. That's brilliant football there. The across the field, across the face of the Bishop's goal, and unfortunately, there's no one there. Baker tries to pick up the pieces, but here is Bishops on the counter-attack. And they lose out again in the midfield. Good work here by that player. That's the number 14, Jacoby Julian, marshalling that back line. A little bit of a short ball here. That's a dangerous ball here. To Sean Kerr trying to pick up the pieces. He's battling through. Siddiqui Balfour was coming to back him up, but he was a little bit late there on that one. Good defense again by Mason Hall. Little step aside there by Julian. To Sean Kerr. Working with Balfour on this right hand side. And he's trying to open it up here. Number 10, Johan Elliott is waiting for a cross ball. And unfortunately, the shot coming in was just over the ball. They had the players up there for a better attack there, Bishops. Ronaldo Lutchman on your screen there. He was waiting at the far post. Unfortunately, there was no connection. Jacoby Julian again kicking it out from an early start here. Trying to go up in through the center here. Denton Allen plays it back to his defenders. And Sean Baker. Jacob e. Julian in the midfield and lost out on the other side. I think that's Stapleton. The attack from Bishops. Oh, it's a miss kick here. I think that's Lutchman. Sedano, a little short figure, comes up here. Good work there by Burke. And he wins the free kick, I think. In a very good position here. Johan Elliott is standing over this one. And he goes for that far post, and unfortunately, while he gets some good direction, and that probably wasn't the power to trouble Colette, and takes that one quite cleanly there. Again, Mason Hall are playing it out early. They're playing it out from the back, and that was an, another giveaway there. Elliot trying to pick up the pieces from that one. And again, Mason Hall just get away with that one. Bit of a foul there by... Mason Hall follows. Elliot again with the free kick. And this one is swinging in towards Collette. And there's an awkward bounce. The number three was there to Sean Kerr. He was ready to, to pounce if Collette made a mistake. It really was an awkward bounce that bounced just in front of him. You have to say the keeper did very well. He didn't jump to collect it. Just stayed on his line here. Jelani Johnson playing it out to Balfour. 
really a right-sided game. Both players, both teams are very, very good on the right-hand side. The Mason Hall boys are trying to, trying that left-hand side, but they're not getting any joy out of it as yet. Take a be Julian with this free kick here for Mason Hall in the middle. Sends it straight through, unfortunately. No one in uh, his on his team getting up on the pick, picking up on the end of that. That's number 12, Levi Bob, sending a lovely ball down the left hand side to Ronaldo Lashman to chase down to the corner flag. Will he get the cross in? He gets something resembling a cross in, but unfortunately, there's nobody there to pick up the pieces at the end of it. 12 figure of Julian striding through the middle again, and he gets a good ball down the left hand side. The cross comes in and it's a lovely save. That's a wonderful shot there. That's coming from the number six. That's Keyshawn Stapleton. Well, well, well. Driving down the left-hand side. And uh, Mason all proved me wrong there because I was saying they're getting no joy down that left-hand side. But the first real cracking shot of the game comes from Stapleton. And uh, excellent save, you have to say, from Kevin Courtney in the Bishop's School. He hasn't had much to deal with, but what he has had to deal with, he's dealt with quite well. Good little left foot, you have to say, on Stapleton with that shot. Here comes a four corner for Mason Hall, their first corner. And it isn't swung in well enough to beat the first defender. They're trying to create the room for the shot here. That was Denton Allen. They'll get another bite at the cross here, maybe. Cross comes in. No, the shot comes in, and it's wide and high. The 20 minutes into this game, and you have to say that while Bishops have looked more in control of what is happening and how they're playing, Mason Hall have had the better opportunities for sure. At least two clear sights on goal, which you think they could have done a little bit better with it. Latchman with a nice step over. He's still running through the heart of that defense, but he's not going to get anything Past Julian in the center of that defense there for Mason Hall. They're looking for Siddiqui Balfour out on the left-hand side. A tall figure, and he's battling with Keyshawn Stapleton, that looks like. Stapleton gets the better of him here. That worked on the left-hand side by this Mason Hall attacker. Pushes it all the way to the corner flag, and he does force another corner here. So excellent work here. He's surrounded by two defenders. Let's see if they can get a better cross in this time. No, it's a low-driving one, and swung out by the Mason Hall defenders. Chance for a counter-attack here. Siddiqui Balfour, he's trying to pick up the pieces here. Last man playing it short there. That's in number six to Dino. Cross comes in. Deshaun Kerr is up there, but uh, they're outnumbered. Down McClatchy in the back of the defense there, doing the cleanup work. Trying to force the issue here, Bishops. Again, they're playing it short. Again, they're playing it a little bit dangerous here. McClatchy coming down the right-hand side. Good battle there between Yashua Muhammad and Levi Bob. Levi Bob sticking to his work here. Been a hard customer to... To manage down that right hand side. Bob again in the heart of the defense, playing it out quite nicely there. It is number 15 partner, Kieran Wright. It's, little, it's long searching ball forward. Balfour is at the end of this with his long legs. The keeper comes out, 
And uh, between the keeper and the defender, they did a really good job there. Just about controlling Balfour. Good step over there. It's Kieran Wright. But again, it's coming up at the right here. And they lost that again. A real interchanging passes there. You can see that both teams are up for it. They're fighting very, very hard. Baker takes control of the ball right in the center of the midfield. He's looking for his right-handed partner, Yashra Mohammed. Mohammed gets another ball in, trying a little bit of a layoff here with Baker. With Baker and Mohammed again. A real tussle there with Bob. And Bob is going to get some assistance here from Giovanni Book. Bit of a pause in play here now. Players just getting a little bit of water. Much needed refreshment. Action resumes here as Mason Hall have a kick, a free kick in an advantageous position. Just one man in the wall there for Bishops. Denton Allen stands over this one. Or two men in the wall now for Bishops. Fortifying their defenses. And it's played short to Yashra Mohammed. He's trying to get past those defenses. Trying to do too much there, Yashra Mohammed. And uh, they're striding out with the ball here. Unfortunately, stopped in the middle of the field there by, I think that's Julian. Actually, that's uh, uh, Sean Baker doing some really good work there in the back. Playing in the central midfield and a right back position almost, Baker. Here's Baker again. He's looking for Mohammed down that right hand side. Played back, but it's a short ball by Mohammed. It really wasted the attack there. One back brilliantly by the number 14. That's Julian there. And he's trying to come down the side. And he'll win the corner here for his team. Excellent work by Jacob E. Julian. Forcing this, you hear. Mason Hall with their second corner of the game. And unfortunately, it was aimed very, very poorly there by Julian. Kieran Wright, the center back there, will play it out to his fellow center back partner. Justin Antoine. It's a change over here. Mason Hall have the ball back in the middle of the field. See what they can make of this attack here. Again, that's Baker.
Mason Hall just getting a grip in this game. Here, Bishops may be losing a little bit. Has a throw in on the far side. Justin, you have to give that through, through. Justin, he looking for you. You have to give that. Ball still in play here. A swing of the foot there. And the number 22, Harim Anderson, collect, collected the ball in his head, but no harm done. Now go. Uh -uh. We have the ball. You can't be there. Jelani Johnson with the yeah. throw in. Again, good work by the Mason Hall defense, but they, they, they're not getting those connection balls in. Here's Ronaldo Latchman trying to send a forward ball for Kerr and Balfour, who were converging. Bit of a, a crunching tackle there, trip up there, one plays on the ground there. That's an Antoine holding the ball and trying to move it out from the back. Levi Bob looking for that ball down the left hand side, doesn't quite get a hold of that one. Denton Alley and will push it up forward now. Here's Yashwa Muhammad again. Will he get the pass through to Alain? Alain was free on goal here. No, two defenders converge on him. And unfortunately, can't get the shot out. Finally, Bishops get the ball away. But it's only as far as Jacoby Julian in the center of the park. A little bit of a slip there by the number 12, Rental Sebro. And all of a sudden, Bishops are on the attack again. So some really good switch over in plays here. Mason Hall just not getting the just not getting it together in that final third. Harold Sedeno trying to spread the ball wide on the right for Jelani Johnson to pick up. Throw in here for Mason Hall on the left side. Oh, it's a free kick. Swung high into the six yard box. Crunch through, and number 18 gets a shot off. That's uh, Sean Baker, unfortunately. No connection on that one. Easy pick up there. For Kevin Cordner. Sends a far ball out. And again, Yashua Mohammed is through the middle here. He'll get that ball down the left hand side. And uh, again, good defense by that number 17. In the back there for the Bishops, boys. At Justin Antoine. But a corner here for Mason Hall. Their third of the match. They're getting the attacks in Mason Hall. Bishops may be a little too casual in the midfield. They have a good striking pair in Latchman and uh, Balfour, but they're just not getting that, that joy that they want here. And here is Balfour doing some defensive work at the back there. Another swing in here for Mason Hall. That's not taken cleanly by Denton Allen. Maybe could have tried to have a shot the first time. And here does a, a shot does come in. And uh, it's a wonderful little left footed drive there. But unfortunately, that player did not get any accuracy on that at all. He did get the, the power. That is Sean Baker once again. But we've seen he has a very good right footed, probably on his weaker foot. So he didn't get much joy with that one. And here he is pushing again. That is Sean Baker. Really forcing the issue here. Want to throw in for his team. Deep inside the Bishop's right hand side. Yes, Ramon picks up the pieces and he does quite well to get away from two defenders. He'll pass over the ball now and he'll get it back immediately from Allen. Try to go through the center again. He has to play it back. 
Redsell Sebra at the back. Still in a good position here. Overrun there by Harim Anderson. And the short figure of Renzel Sebro plays it all the way back to the keeper. The Mason Hall will be happy that they still have possession at this time. Let's enjoy a little bit of that possession. Get comfortable on the ball. And now they're starting to really pass that ball quite well. Again, they're looking for a lovely ball upside there. You, Mohammed trying to do too much. Levi Bob not wasting any time or energy, just hooking that one out. Jacob E. Julian has wandered forward and he will more than likely take this through in here for Bishops. For Mason Hall, that should be. Hooked out there by Bishops. Mason Hall pushed back a little bit, but they do get the throw in deep in their half now. Julian is back to pick this one up. Sends it through the midfield here. Here's Baker trying to lay off Yashua Mohammed. That ball goes out of play. And once again, it's another throw in here. Will Mohammed take it quickly? He tries to take it quickly. I think he's trying to release Ali in down that right-hand side. And again, the defense of Bishops has to do some sterling work in the back there. Julian will come forward again. Almost a deja vu with true from the same position where he had. Went long this time. And unfortunately, those players were offside there for Mason Hall. And uh, the attack comes to nothing. It tried to play the ball a little bit early there. I think the referee may pull it back. Bit of a cheeky attempt there from that number 15. That's Kieran Wright. Trying to send that ball early. The referee was having nothing of it. Referee a judge Julian to be pushed there. Free kick, which he tried to take quickly and got away with that one. But he did put the ball down properly. And Maisel Hall will have a throw in on the left hand side. Until Sebra under pressure here. The young fellow the young fellow shoved off the ball there unceremoniously, I think, by Balfour. It might have been Ku. Mason Hall got that's a wonderful ball through Mo Yeshua Mohammed through the heart of the Bishop's defense. Unfortunately, Alien can get on the end of that one. But it really was a wonderful ball by Mohammed, split through the central defenders of the Bishops boys. And almost getting some joy in that one there. Yeah, the Bishop Giovanni Burke, he's been quite quiet on that central midfield. Hasn't been able to pull the strings as much as he would have liked. Mason Hall enjoying much more of the possession right now here. Lovely touch there by Yashua Mohammed to get over Bob in defense. Bob helped out by his partners. Ooh, a bit of a tumble there. But Alain is still going out, looks like. And he'll win the free kick for his team in a very, very good position here. Sean Baker is putting this one down. Alain was striding through there. 
And you can see that he was taken out quite easily there. It seems that Baker will go for this one. And it does seem like his left foot is his stronger foot, the way he's lining up for this one. Thick wall there. Four players in it. Baker doesn't quite get it over the wall. Kieran right with the header away. But they will win the corner. A substitute here with the number 19 for Bishops coming off. That's Ronaldo Lutchman. And coming on is the number 7, Aeon Coker. Mason Hall with the corner. Baker using his right for this time. And unfortunately, it's a wasted corner behind the goal. Bishop trying to find that groove here with Balfour again on that right hand, right hand side. He skips past the first defender and wins the cross in. This is, of course, the Tiger Tanks Secondary Schools Football League. Produced by 360 TV. Your home for all the football action, for all the secondary schools football action, as well as uh, as well as all your cricket action as well. All your cultural entertainment, 360 TV. And that will be half time here in this game. Scores nil-nil. Mason Hall with the better attacks in the game uh, and eventually growing into this game. We'll take a short break and be right back. Welcome back to the second half of this game between Bishops and Mason Hall Secondary on its even. Break probably coming at the right time for Bishops. They needed to regroup after Mason Hall really put stamp their authority on this game. Jelani Johnson with this free kick here at the back for Mason Hall. For Bishops, that should be. Come on, come on. 
Good interchange there with Arlene on the left hand side. Fence under pressure here by Tishon Koo. The Diki Balfour is coming out to help his, fam his, fam his team. And Tishon Koo is on the attack here. The good attack by Koo and Balfour together on that right hand side there. For Mason Hall just giving them a bit of joy here. Jelani Johnson will come forward for this throw in. Hey, the shops. Watch out, pull back them buttons there, please. Fortunately, a bit of an offside call there. Mason Hall get it back. Rental Seabro with the long kick out. Balfour trying to get some joy down that right hand side. Unfortunately, that ball goes out for throw in. Oh, and there's a clash there. One of the players was hit in the mouth there from Ma the Mason Hall players. As a number 11, Gianni Giovanni Burke is going through the middle here. Johan Elliott with the ball down the left hand side. Seems that player was up and about, so there's nothing serious or onto what has happened there. Balfour again in that tussle. But Ronnie Reed, I know it's actually McCletchy down that left hand side that he uh, no, that McCletchy really has not had any any joy in this game at all. With Balfour is healed all the time. Credit to McCletchy, he stayed true to his work. And here he, here they are again, trying to force him off a little bit. There. There's a little bit of a slip by McCletchy, and uh, Balfour wins the free kick as well. To direct at the keeper there, Colette, was Giovanni Book. Mason Hall trying to go down the right hand side again. The interchange between Mohammed and Baker. Denton Ali and Harim Koka here fighting for that one. And Diki Balfour sticking to his job here, that number nine there. Oh, but they get the ball back here. Mason Hall and that's Denton Alley running up the left-hand side. Unfortunately, excellent defensive work here. The ball will just about remain in play. Johan Elliott picking up the pieces here. With Burke trying to get it through the midfield. Levi Bob as well involved. And here is Burke once more. And he's lost out there to Coker, who has picked up the pieces and will build it back up from the from the back for Mason Hall, trying to send the ball forward. Nothing doing here. It's Coker again. Decides to play it off easily to his number 20 partner, Ronnie Reed. And here's Coker running down the left hand side. Let's see if he can get the cross in. And it's a weak cross coming in. And that ends up as a goal kick. For Bishops. The number 18 will take control of that one. That's good work there from Isaac Prescott. And a bit of pressure there with Keon right. Here's the number seven taking that away. Jelani Johnson coming through the right here. No. Mason Hall get it through the center. Or Bishops, I should say, get it through the center. The 
A real tussle on that right hand side there. With Prescott. Mason Hall wins out. And they send it up the field again. Free kick to Mason Hall here. Right in the center of the park. Joshua Stewart takes this one. Sends it up right there. Yashua Mohammed missed out on that one. May have been a glare issue there with Mohammed. Arlene. Sending Mohammed up the right hand side. He has a good pace, Mohammed. He does get onto that ball. Trying to beat that last man down there. That's Levi Bob. Bob and Mohammed still at it there. Right, it's a free kick for Levi Bob, so he gets a little bit of breathing space at the back. Here is Bob. Plays it back to right. Right, looking through the midfield here, that book. Lays it out to Jelani Johnson at right back. A good interchange here by Bishops. They're starting to find their feet in this half. Had some good passing going on there. Johnson gets it back here. He's going to go hard. Deshaun Curry. That was looking for Deshaun Curry over his head. And then the figure of Johan Elliott coming in at the far left as well. Good little run there by Rensel, by uh, Rensel Seabrew. It's pushing that ball up for Mason Hall. And they win the throw in very, very deep into Bishop's half. Keyshawn Stapleton with the throw in. And he'll go for the long throw. Shadiki Balfour a little bit casual there. At the edge of his own box. Ball still in place, says the referee. And it's a wild hook by that number 18, Sean Baker. Oh, no, yeah, it's actually a wonderful pass to Yashua Mohamed who gets across in. And unfortunately, it's over the head of every Mason Hall player. And they just don't get it away. And there's a counter attack here with Tishon Kerr. Can he get the shot off? And it's just off the post there. Mason Hall scrambled it away. Well, well, well. A clear shot, a clear shot chance there with Tishon Kerr having a clear advantage, clear start on goal. I think Colette and the defender may have gotten a touch on that one to just push it wide. Unfortunate for the Bishops boys, they could have opened the scoring there. And you'll have to say it's almost against the run of play because they haven't had that clear of an attack. I think that is almost their first clear attack of the game. And they will have a corner. They did have a couple corners in the first half. It's a long corner. Colette got a hand to that one as well. And is hooked out by his defender. And that's something for Mohammed to chase. He's, short, he's shorter than Bob. But he still has some very, very quick feet on him. Yashua Mohammed, certainly a live wire down the right side for the Mason Hall outfit. Giving a good account of themselves here. Bishop's getting that ball up to Tishon Kuh, who had that wonderful chance. That's now Angelani Johnson has been skipped over by Jacoby Julian. 
And he's running all the way, Jacoby Julian. There's a last ditch stop there. Julian still has the ball and he's still fighting for the ball and he still has the ball. Plays it out to Allen and Allen loses out now. Can Mason all get the counter going? They do get the ball up the center. That's a lovely little layoff to Balfour. Will he get the shot off? He does get the shot. He does get the shot off. As almost a wonderful cross there. As they were steaming in bishops. Watching secondary school football league action sponsored by Tiger Tanks, produced by 360 TV. And it's we're in Tobago, beautiful Tobago here for this game. Bishop versus Mason Hall. As Jelani Johnson has a free as a corner kick for Bishops. With this honor still even at this stage. Bishops the home team here, not taking use of the advantage and it's a wasted free kick a free corner kick here by in this under 16 battle here certainly some good players standing out here Yeshua Mohammed for the bishop for the Mason Hall outfit as well as Sean Baker Giovanni Burke for for bishops as well as Tishon Kerr, their striking partner and his striking partner, Siddiqui Balfour. There's a bit of a clash of heads here. And that is Tishon Kerr who is uh, unfortunately injured. We're hoping it's nothing serious with him. Free kick here in a good position for the bishop's outfit. Denton Allen is standing over this one. Apologies, that's Johan Elliott. Levi Bob was also in discussions there. Jelani Johnson doesn't seem to be part of the discussion. And it's driven very, very hard into that top left-hand corner. And that was excellent defensive work there by Jacoby Julian. He wore that one on his head for sure. And uh, good positioning, you have to see. That one was certainly goal bound and it was struck quite yeah. fiercely indeed. And now Johnson comes up for a corner. He had a wasted corner earlier today. Let's see if he can make better use of this one. And unfortunately, it's another wasted corner there by Johnson, not getting the swing that he would have wanted to come back in. And trouble Duvon Collette in goal. Ed Mason Hall. 
Denton Ali and Harim Koka losing out in the middle of the park there, but the pieces are lovely picked up by the defenders at the back. Here's Baker under some pressure here. Does quite well. Looks to send the ball wide with that sweeping left foot. Doesn't quite get any purchase on it. And now they get the ball up. Looking for Mohammed again on that right hand side. Both teams have some very, very good players on the right hand side. Siddiqui Balfour, very tall and very leggy. And uh, Yeshua Mohammed, a little bit short, a little bit stockier, but certainly very, very quick indeed. <laughs> Mason Hall trying to go to the center here and that's a wonderful effort on goal well 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 a bit of a sprawl there by the Mason Hall keeper Coulette but he got there in the end the first shot by Tishon Kerr was blocked wonderfully by the defender the bishop really starting to get a little bit of impetus and momentum in this home game at with just 20 minutes left on the clock in this Tiger Tanks Secondary School Football League under 16 match. Mason Hall will feel stung by that one. Let's see if they can issue a response. But instead is right playing it out for the Bishop's boy Johan Elliott takes control of that one and there's a number nine so they keep pal for working very assiduously on the right hand side <laughs> Elliot again Elliot and Boo combining in that midfield <laughs> Kieran Wright getting away with that one there Boo picking up the pieces and he's driving forward is Giovanni Boo and he pick out the right pass and it's a bit of a a bubble there for Colette in the Mason Hall goal, but he picked up quite cleanly in the end. Sends out a long searching ball there. Fortunately, the, the, unfortunately, the Mason Hall fellow couldn't keep it in play. And one of those Mason Hall players looks to be in a bit of agony there after a crunching tackle. We look and see what the umpire has to say. I think he, oh, the referee, I should say. He signaled a throw in. Mason Hall might be forced to make a substitution here. It looks to be a very serious injury that player hasn't gotten up as yet. Instructions coming into Bishops and Balfour from their coach. That player has been moved off to the side. And he is still receiving some treatments. It seems to be a very, very bad injury there indeed. Running here for Mason Hall, deep in their own half. Temporarily down to 10 men. Good interchange there. 
Jelani Johnson will take this free kick here. Sends it up to Siddiqui Balfour trying to get the better of That's Jacoby Julian. Trying hard to keep that one in Sean Baker. Jelani Johnson with the quick throw. Again Jacoby Julian and Siddiqui Balfour clashing down that left hand side. Trying to spread the field there is Baker but unfortunately couldn't pick out anybody. Julian gets the ball but slips but is up very very quickly. Trying to force the issue then. Number 10 for Johan Elliott doing the defensive work back there. This one is hooked out long. Looking good to Sean Kerr in the center. Baker gets it back and steps aside Balfour. And steps aside Elliott. And is stopped by Johnson. Elliot sticking to his work here, and Elliot trying to win the ball here. Baker has, still has control of it. He's trying to send it back into the midfield. That's Harim Anderson. Switch sides by Jacoby Julian. Excellent switch up play. Interchange with Yashra Mohammed. He's trying to get past two defenders, and that's actually Denton Alain. The interchange was between Alain and Mohammed, and here. His bishops on the attack. Yes, yeah, Siddiqui Balfour, those long legs coming forward. Will he get the shot off? He does get the shot off, but it's a wild, wide shot and completely and utterly wasted. Siddiqui Balfour, he had gotten past the defenders. He'd done all the good work and unfortunately couldn't even get a shot on, the tar on target and make Colette work. You do have to say it was a poor shot. The Mason Hall, the Bishop's boys are on the attack again here. Mason Hall stopping them in their tracks. Alain, that's a good, that's some good work down there by that right hand side between Alain. That's a foul there. Is there a foul? No call from the referee. Waves play on. Not giving up on this attack. Half hooked out by that Ajoy Koka. And this is Harry Manderson for Mason Hall. Again trying to go up that left side. And again not getting any joy there. Bit of an argument with his coach Harry Manderson. But the coach laughing at it nevertheless. And Anderson is quick to try to win back the ball. Here. Julian being Kerr being chased by Julian. Rental Seabro there cleaning up at the back for Mason Hall boys, and he tried to take it out here. Will he get that pass off to the midfield? Rental Seabro is back again. Excellent work there from him. Taking the attack forward, Renzel Sebra, and then coming back to do the defensive work. When his teammates lost the ball. 
Throw in there by Kieran Wright. Mason Hall have it through the center again. Will they get the shot off? And that's a wasted shot there by Yashua Mohamed. He had the goal gaping. Gaping, it was just him and the keeper. And unfortunately, couldn't get any power on the shot. And Kevin Cordner must be the most grateful keeper in the history of the secondary school football league as sponsored by Tiger Tanks. Bishops were completely opened up there. And that was a chance for Mason Hall to take the win and get that all-important first goal. A battle in the midfield with Coco on the floor, as well as Tashawn Kill. Eventually, Bishops get the kick, the free kick. Burke will send this one up. And it's whipped in, and the, they get a touch off the defenders, and unfortunately. They can't stop the corner for Bishops. Johnson goes across to take this corner again. He, this time he plays it short. He's been having some trouble with those corners. Burke sends this one in. Oh, and it's just over the crossbar there. Colette. It was dipping quite nicely. Colette had to stick a hand up and make sure that it didn't duck underneath his crossbar. No harm, no foul here. Number 13 coming on for Bishops for Isaiah Pantin. And he's immediately into the action here. Will Bishops get a chance at number three to Sean Kurt? Did not get a shot across. Renzel Sebro doing the cleanup work at the back. Bishops will come again here. Levi Bob trying to drive the attack. Instead of Denton, Allen will pick up the pieces here for Mason Hall and send the ball forward. There's Yeshua Muhammad. What can he do this time? Can he make amends? He's trying to shove Levi Bob off the ball. Didn't quite get a hold of it. Been a really, really bright little player here, Yashua Mohammed, but he really hasn't come up with the goods when he has to. Has shown some excellent potential. This Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League under 16 football. Bit of a weak touch by Roland Alexander, the number four, giving the ball away here. But Mason Hall will get it back on the right-hand side of the field, and it's driving up the right-hand side again. Can they get the cross in this time? No. Bishop's taking the ball out. This is Tishon Kerr. Unfortunately, a little bit of a bad touch there from him. Mason Hall lucky to get away with that one, you have to say. Daryl McCletchy picking up the pieces. A good sliding tackle there by that Mason Hall player to get that ball away from uh, Jelani, from uh, Yeshua Mohammed. Another little slip here. Rental Sebro trying to push the issue. Standing over this free kick here now with 10 minutes left in this game. 
Well, there's through and I should see. There's eight minutes left in this game. The coaches and managers are urging their players on. So a lot to play for in this Tobago derby. The Mason all lads, I think, have won a late corner here. Jacoby Julian will run to retrieve the ball. Harim Anderson came in. He's going to play it short. The header comes on. That is from Renzel Seabro. It may have been Kishon Stapleton. 14 years straight at Cordner. Lani Johnson under pressure here and he loses out. Now he sticks to his guns and gets the ball back. Well done, Jelani Johnson. Harim Anderson under some pressure there. Jelani Johnson will get a little bit of breathing space. He's a little bit casual with that throw from Cordner. Lost his way a little bit. Sends that ball through the midfield, but it's picked up by Mason Hall. Driving down the right side is Sean Baker. Stepping inside. He's trying to get the best of Johan Elliott. Elliott, Elliott was sticking to his job here as well. Trying to switch it wide there. Good defensive work by that number 18. I think that's Anderson. No, it's actually Prescott for Bishops. Last time it's Anderson through the middle. Yeshua Muhammad getting involved in that tussle as well. And that is Anderson. He's done well. Will he feed it off to Yeshua Muhammad? He does get it off Yeshua Muhammad on the left hand side. He gets the cross in. Final touch from a uh, Mason Hall defender. Trying to hook it over is Sean Baker. No luck, no joy there for the Mason Hall fellows. As they're pushing really, really hard towards the end of this game. Five minutes of normal time left. Corners played short. Swung in and it swung in far. Mason Hall will play it back here. And they try to get the cross in again. Is it? It's not a good cross. It affects nobody. And the keeper is not challenged here. The Bishops get a little bit of breathing space. It's been a game of real ebb and flows. Both teams have had their chances. Mason Hall, you'll have to see with the more clear-cut chances. Bishops have hit the uprights. Zachary Kerr, Yeshua Muhammad, you'd have to say, missed a really golden opportunity in this last 10 minutes to take the lead. Jacoby Julian in the midfield here. Real tussle and he gets away with it and he goes forward. He's striving forward here. He's playing it out wide. And good defense again by Levi Bob that looks like. No, that's actually Kieran Wright on that left-hand side. Denton Allen 
will hoof this one forward. But that's actually Sean Baker. And they played it short. They almost got away with that one, Mason Hall. Bishops are very, very quick on the draw here. And they do have the ball. Let's see if they can play it forward to Kerr here. They're looking for Kerr through the middle. It's a nice little step over here. But again, Rental. Oh! Kerr's lost out there. Rental Zebra. Oh, Rental Zebra wins the battle in the end. And eventually gets that ball out up into the midfield area. But three minutes left on the clock here. There's a there's a, an in intensity that has come to this game now. Mason Hall pushing again. This time it's Allen. He plays it out wide. Mo nice little touch there. Allen with the throw in. Flung himself towards to get that one out, Kieran Wright. And again, Mason Hall with the ball away. Deshaun Kerr picks this up. Excellent control by him. Lovely little layoff there so to Siddiqui Balfour. I think it's out. that's Balfour on the left hand side. No, that's actually. That's actually Isaac Prescott winning the number 18 for Bishops. Yeah, he is Prescott. Plays it back. Mason Hall get the, th the free kick here. It's over a minute and a half to play. Bishop full back here for a free kick. Wright plays it out. Elliot feeds it off nicely to Panton. Interchange between Elliot and Panton. They're trying to get it away. Here's to Sean Kerr. Switches it to that right hand, left hand side. And Mason Hall on the attack now. Lovely little switch over play. That's something for. Isaiah Cato to chase. Bishop maybe with one final salvo left in the in the armory. No Mason Hall. The Mason Hall defender sticking to their gun. Here's Rental Sebro. Plays it across the face of goal. Poor touch by the defender there. That's a number four, Roland Alexander. And uh, Harim Anderson comes back to help out Alexander. The cross in there, that was from Pantin for Bishops. They're trying to drive out here, that's Baker. Still fighting in the midfield here for Mason Hall boys. And he gets a lovely ball through to... Prescott, but uh, the sliding stop by Kieran Wright ensures that nothing happens there. 18 minutes have elapsed now. Mason Hall maybe with one final attack on this game. Julian is going forward. The throw in here by Mason Hall. Again with the one attack. Anderson coming forward. And he'll get that ball across again. Arlene probably wasn't happy with not getting that ball back. Actually, that's Baker. Gain still trying to battle for this ball in midfield here. Julian is pushed to the ground. Nothing doing from the referee. That's a surprising call. Deshaun Kerr trying to chase the pieces of this one here. Back, 
A late throw in here for Bishops. Levi Bob will come across yeah, to throw it in. They've won a corner here, mm. Bishops. Cross comes in. And they'll get another corner here, I think, Bishops. Oh, no, that is the end of the game. And it'll be on as even at the end of it all, Bishops and Mason Hall. Nil nil. Very uh, exciting game, Mason Hall. And Bishop both having their chances, but neither of them really taking it at the end of the day. And that's all from us here at the Bishop's Ground here in lovely, sweet, beautiful Tobago. This has been a 360 production, 360 TV production of the Tiger Tanks Secondary Schools Football League Under-16 Tournament. <laughs>